Turn, turn. I work for Gucci. Yeah. He's a little m now get out of here. Okay, no worries. We'll do it. You want more abuse? More abuse? You want more abuse? Red Nova, I'll give you some. The prime minister was in the. Let him know you guys have a permanent ban on us Permanent ban on Gucci? What about through VR chat? No. They don't want to ask questions. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Are we banned in the metaverse? Gucci is the most expensive brand in the world. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra flat. And in today's video, I pranked them. Right now, you're looking at some of Gucci's most expensive products that have been put on show in their new Gucci museum. What you don't know is, one of these products is actually a creation of mine. There's so many people here today wanting to see Gucci products that you can't touch. The one product you can touch, laced. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I have created my own bottle of Gucci cologne, which has been placed in the Gucci museum for the public to use. The only problem being, our bottle of cologne is filled with fart spray. <laughs> Not a fan. It smell like shit, man. It smell like shit. And we have named the cologne Reto di Nans, which in Italian, where Gucci is from, means Nan's rectum. Because that's what it smells like. You guys don't like it? No. You don't like it? Well, you need help. I need help. You need a shower. That's what you need. No, because we try to get like that jungle scent. The caesarean of a water buffalo. You ever smelt a water buffalo giving birth? And our goal today, ladies and gentlemen, is to get these Gucci lovers inside the Gucci museum to spray our retro denans all over themselves so they smell like my nan's rectum. But for you to see if we actually achieve the impossible, let me take you back to where it all started. And ever since that moment, I've had a psychological need to be the centre of attention and prove people wrong. Is it possible to do a prank on one of these shots with a security guard in there? You see, these absolute NPCs, in their words, think it's impossible to prank Gucci. It's impossible, Little do they know, I've already got a plan on how I'm going to make this happen. And it starts with our Trojan horse. Step one was to go to Kmart and buy the cheapest bottle of cologne I could find. If anyone thinks this is Gucci, you deserve to be pranked, I'm sorry. Step two was to turn the cheapest bottle of cologne into the world's most expensive bottle of cologne and to do that we engrave the Gucci logo and our Nan's Rectum logo onto the Kmart cologne. It's like your unemployed friend on a Thursday afternoon. And once it was done we had our Trojan horse. It literally looks legit. Now step three is where it gets tricky. We had to carefully open the sealed bottle of cologne and empty out the nice smelling cologne and replace it with my Nan's Rectum which leads us to here. Yep. But basically we're trying to find a funnel that can go into that. Depending on the diameter of that base. It's about so the, the size of like some rectum or something. Yeah. That's what it's, that's what it's named after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to use different terminology. Four dollars, I'm a big spender. That's actually the amount of money I've made on YouTube this month. And finally, step four was to empty our fart spray into the Trojan horse. Was it actually working? Dude, it filled up half the bottle. I just got a whiff of the <laughs> and reseal the bottle so it looked like it hadn't been compromised. That's about as good as we're gonna get it. And then we had to do a smell test. And I warn you, this next scene may be disturbing to some viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the shit I do for this. There you go. <laughs> I think it fucking smells. <laughs> oh, he's crying! Fuck, I'm actually crying. Hold on. Maybe this is too far. <laughs> Our Reto Denard smelled so bad that all I could think about was whether having Gucci lovers spray it on themselves was too far. But there was only one way to find out. So before we put our cologne in the Gucci museum, I wanted to test whether Gucci shoppers actually thought it was a Gucci product. It's our new Reto Denard cologne. What is this from? Gucci. I was like Gucci. Yeah, it's free. I'm giving out free samples. She's from Italy, so maybe. Are you from Italy? Yes. You're from Italy? Yes. Oh, yeah, so it's Gucci's new cologne, Reto Di Nans. Okay. Yeah, do you want to try some? Thank you. Does he want to try some Reto Di Nans? <laughs> he wants to. He wants to try Reto Di Nans. <laughs> Give me a bit of a spray. Oh. <laughs> Does it pull the chicks? I hope so. It pulls older women. It smells like shit. <laughs> it stinks. That could be your nose, don't you know? It stinks bad. No, it does it actually? You sure that's it's for like the older women. Older women? Yeah. I'm trying to do free samples for our Gucci documentary. You wanna... Oh, okay. Can you just put it on again? Yeah, I'll put it on you, yeah, for sure. What's this one here? Yeah. Reto Dinans. Oh, get some of that. Yeah, get some of that, get in there. What's wrong? Get some of that, yeah, get in there. What's... Where, did, where did you get it from? <laughs> It's from Italy, Reto Dinans. Oh, is it really? Okay. So if you could describe the cologne, what would you... 
Oh, it's a bit, <laughs> words can't describe it to be honest. Well, so it's that good? <laughs> oh, are you okay, sir? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> what's, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, it's <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> oh, fuck. You sure you don't fit? <laughs> it's Reto Dinans. What? You're mucking around, are you? No, this, this is a new Gucci cologne, Reto Dinans. Does it smell that bad? It is really bad. Can't you smell it? Don't you smell it? Oh, it smells good. No. So would you recommend it to other people? I just recommend the message of Jesus to other people. Would this be close to Jesus? Nah. Nah. Nothing comes close to Jesus. Would Jesus wear a cologne like this? I don't think so, no. Nah. You don't think so? Back in those days, they didn't wear cologne, so yeah. They just went for the body odor scent. Well, that's what we're trying to go for there, like the older woman scent. <laughs> it smells like it, yeah. It smells like older woman. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. I don't know where it's come from. You reckon it smells like an old lady's rectum? Yeah. Or something worse. What, what is it for? For the Gucci Museum. Oh, the Gucci Museum. Do you reckon people will like it? You'll have to ask them, yeah. The old man was right. It was time for our final test. Would it be possible to place our Gucci cologne inside the Gucci Museum? Now, we're going to need more than Jesus to make this happen because when we got there, the museum was packed, not only with people, but with security. But our plan was to blend in with the crowd so we could find the perfect spot to put our cologne. Can't believe I'm sitting on Gucci. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and slowly put the cologne. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, why not? Let's just make everyone see me. Our Reto Denans had been placed. This lady has no idea she's sitting next to a scent of my Nan's rectum. The only thing left was to put a sign next to it saying free sample to encourage the public to use it. And then all we had to do was wait until someone took the bait. Oh my gosh, Logan, film it. <laughs> I couldn't believe how many people were walking up and trying our Reto Dinans. One of each of our beloved. We've got our cologne in the Gucci Museum. It's an $8 bottle of cologne. Our $8 bottle of cologne was blending in so well that even this Gucci worker who came to fix up the desk didn't even think it was out of place. After being told it couldn't be done, it's safe to say, ladies and gentlemen, we have achieved the impossible. So as always, I decided to take it to the next level and ask people inside Gucci what they thought. It's not broken. What? It's not blown. What is it? I don't know. No, it is cologne. It's named after my nap. Which, as you're about to see, was a big mistake. I should have just took my W and left. Very, it's going to be a very expensive product, so we're just going to test if it's good or not. Do you want to just give it a spray? Is it for women or men? Yeah, it's for women's and men's, mainly older ladies. Older lady, oh, you're right. You're yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you think it's good? No, thank you. I made it with my nan. Oh. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, thanks, mate. Thank you very much. Stink. You don't like it? No. Yeah. This smells like shit. Oh, what's that one? What do you do? Smell, smell that one. That smells like shit. So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Dude, it's not my fault your cologne smells like shit. If you smell it, then maybe we can get to the bottom of it. It smells like... No, this is not our part of our collection. I don't know what... Was that the Gucci logo or no? So that's not even a part of our collection. You need to leave right now. Well, why does this have the Gucci logo on it? Please, you guys need to leave. I'm just filming because he's touching his teeth. Let's go. Look, man, I know I got nice boots, but you don't need to touch them. It's not left over. I pooped Let's it. Go. It's not left I'm not trying to fight it. Do you want to try our new Gucci cologne? Leave. Is that for yes in Spanish or something? You guys are not just leave, leave, just leave, leave fucking TikTok videos. All right, we're out of here. We're gone. GG, man. That went well. Yes, yeah, sir. Dad. Just letting you know you guys have a permanent ban on our store. Permanent ban on Gucci? Yeah, permanent ban. Does that mean I can buy online? What about through VR chat? Like, can I buy it online? Am I being from the online Gucci store? Okay, seriously. No, no, I'm being, I'm being serious. We're not. They don't want to ask questions. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Just fucking leave. Are we All banned right. in the metaverse? All right, that's a no. Thanks. Now I'm banned from Gucci. I'm banned from the zoo. So if you guys could like and subscribe, it'd be really nice. I don't know why the fuck they're banning me from Gucci. I'm never going to be able to afford Gucci in my life. It's pretty funny. This is good, though.